In this video, I'll guide you through the best ways to optimize your CPU for gaming in 2025. With these pro tweaks, you can achieve higher FPS, smoother gameplay, and maximum performance for an unbeatable gaming experience. Say goodbye to frustrating lag. Don't forget to subscribe for more expert gaming tips. Now, let's dive into the video. To begin, we'll create a restore point on your PC. First, open the Windows search bar, type Create a Restore Point, and press Enter. In the window that appears, select the local disk, C, and click on the Create button. Name the restore point Windows Optimizations, and press Enter. A restore point is a saved snapshot of your Windows system, allowing you to return your PC to a previous working state in case of system failures or issues. It preserves system files, registry settings, and installed programs, but it does not affect personal files. Now in the next, step press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard, type S config, and hit enter. In the system configuration window, go to the boot tab and click on it. Then click on advanced options, check the box next to number of processors, and select the highest number of cores available. After that, click OK, then apply, and finally OK. A pop-up will appear giving you the option to restart your PC later. Simply click on Exit without restart. Next, we will disable power throttling to improve system performance. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard, type gpedit.msc, and press Enter to open the local group policy editor. Once the editor opens, navigate to Computer Configuration, then go to Administrative Templates and double-click on it. From there, open the System folder, locate Power Management, and then open the Power Throttling settings. Once inside, double-click on it, select the enabled option to turn off power throttling, and then click Apply followed by OK to save the changes. Now, you need to download the required pack using the link provided in the description. Simply visit my website to download it. Once the download is complete, extract the RAR file to your desktop and open the folder. Inside, you will find several subfolders, including RAM optimizations, MSI utility, and system optimizations. Additionally, there will be a TXT file named Get Maximum FPS and Lower Ping in Any Game for further instructions. Start by opening the RAM optimization folder and running the registry tweak that corresponds to your PC configuration. This will help optimize your system's memory for better performance. Next, open the MSI Utility folder and run the program as an administrator to ensure you have the necessary permissions to make changes. Once the program launches, locate your GPU such as AMD or NVIDIA in the list. For instance, if you have an NVIDIA GTX GeForce 750 Ti, select it. After selecting your GPU, check the MSI box and set the interrupt priority to high for better performance. Once you've made these adjustments, click the Apply button to save the changes. This optimization helps improve your GPU's efficiency, enhancing overall system performance. Next, open the System Optimization folder and install the Park Control setup on your PC. Once the installation is complete, launch the program. The first step is to change the power profile from balanced to bit some high performance. This profile optimizes system processes, prioritizes critical tasks, and enhances speed and responsiveness for demanding applications. Simply select Bitsum High Performance and activate it. Next, disable the following settings, Parking AC, Parking DC, Frex Scaling AC, and Frex Scaling DC. Then, set the number of cores to 100% for maximum performance. After that, enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost and select Bitsum Highest Performance. Finally, set the time before PC is considered idle to 300 seconds. Once done, click Apply, then hit OK to save the changes. Next, open the Get Maximum FPS and Lower Ping in Any Game text file and copy the command provided. Then, go to your browser, paste the link, and click on the Download for Windows button to start the download. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. 
After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now, we are going to boost our PC's performance. To do this, open the Windows search bar, type Performance Monitor, and press Enter. Once you're in Performance Monitor, double-click on Data Collector Sets, then double-click on User Defined. Right-click on it, select New, and choose Data Collector Set. Name it CPU Boost, then click Next. Select Create Manually, then click Next again. Choose Performance Counter, then proceed by clicking Next. Now click on Add, select Processor, and click Next, then Finish. You will see that CPU Boost has been added but is currently stopped. Simply right-click on it and select Start to activate the CPU Boost. Next, press Ctrl plus Shift plus ES key on your keyboard to open Task Manager. Once it opens, navigate to the Startup tab. From here, disable all unnecessary startup applications to improve your PC's boot time and overall performance. First of all, in the advanced optimizations for both Intel and Ryzen users, take yourself to the bottom left-hand side and search for Device Manager. Select Device Manager. Inside of this tab, take yourself down to the S section and look for System Devices. Inside System Devices, find the High Precision Event Timer under the H section. Right-click on this option and disable this device. In many games, especially those where you're already getting relatively high FPS, you should notice a slight reduction in input latency and higher overall FPS. Next, we will improve GPU priority for gaming by making changes in the Registry Editor. Start by opening the Windows search bar, type Registry Editor, and run it as an administrator to ensure full access. Once inside, copy the registry path provided in the description and paste it into the Registry Editor's address bar. First, locate the System Responsiveness Registry entry, double-click on it, and set the value data to zero, ensuring the base is set to hexadecimal. Click OK to apply the changes. Next, navigate to the Task folder inside the Registry Editor, then go to the Games folder. Locate GPU Priority, double-click on it, set the value data to 6 with the base set to hexadecimal, and click OK. Finally, find the Priority Registry entry, double-click on it, Set the value data to 6, ensure the base is set to hexadecimal, and click OK to save the changes. Next, we will optimize Windows services to improve performance. Start by opening the Windows search bar, type Services, and press Enter. Once inside, press the S key to quickly locate SysMain, then right-click on it and select Properties. In the Properties window, set the startup type to Disabled, then click OK to apply the changes. Next, press the W key to find Windows Search in the list of services. Once located, right-click on it, select Properties, and change the startup type to Disabled. This helps reduce CPU load times. Finally, click Apply, then OK to save the changes. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. See you in the next one.